It's the first of its kind in Canada in 25 years. The International Fleet Review takes place next month. In celebration of the Naval Centennial, Maritime Forces Pacific and the Canadian Fleet Pacific will host ships from five other Pacific Rim nations. The event runs from June 9th to 14th. Fleet reviews are rare and offer spectators a glimpse of several Canadian and visiting ships, plus a military fly past and performances by the Snowbirds demonstration team and the Skyhawks parachute show. Today, the Navy held a technical briefing for the media to outline some of the events and displays you can expect to see. Preparing and executing a plan is not new for the Canadian Navy. However, planning large-scale events that incorporate other groups and organizations and the public is a little different than what they're used to. The International Fleet Review takes place June 9th to 14th and will include more than a dozen visiting ships. This is an unprecedented event to, uh, to see a fleet review. They're, they're very rare. We, we almost never have them. The last one we had was for our 75th anniversary. This computer simulation shows roughly where the vessels will be anchored in the approaches to Esquimalt Harbour. The event is an opportunity for the Canadian Navy to host nations it works with operationally and during exercises. It's important to understand that we are a maritime nation. We're surrounded on three sides by ocean. So to be able to be prepared to protect the trade routes is, is very important. And it's important for Canadians to see that we have a, sh a Navy that's uh, respected around the world. Friday, June 11th, the Parade of Nations will take place in downtown Victoria. And later that night, there will be an impressive fireworks display over Esquimalt Harbour. The next day, the Canadian Fleet Pacific flagship, HMCS Algonquin, with the reviewing officer, the Governor General of Canada, will sail through the lines of ships at anchor. The best viewing areas will be at Saks Point and Esquimalt Lagoon, as well as Fort Rod Hill National Historic Site, where a number of events are planned June 11th and 12th to mark the 150th anniversary of Fisgard Lighthouse. Well, Fisgard Lighthouse was the first manned lighthouse on the West Coast. It was built uh, by the British in uh, 1860 and uh, has probably guided more ships along the West Coast into the harbour than anything else. Fort Rod Hill and Fisgard Lighthouse National Historic Sites will host a variety of family-oriented events and displays, including live bands, international food, and the celebration of light. Free parking and shuttle bus service will also be available. You can get more information about this event and the fleet review online.